everybody. It's Jocelyn and Mayola. And we're here for another exciting episode of Crafts to Go. And today we are doing what, Mayola? <sighs> Making needlepoint foxes, which Ooh. this looks fun. Mm hmm. And it does take some time. This is not a quick this project. This one's going to yeah, take us some time. This is what the back looks yeah. like. And everybody's will look different when it's done. Yeah, because you can add eyebrows. Well, maybe Mayella will. I don't know. I don't we'll have to wait and see. All right. Why don't you go ahead and grab a, a this. kit? Oh, it's a really easy kit today. Oh, and we have, what is that? This is... Wait, um, instructions, which we do not need. We have her. Oh, yeah, but let's go ahead and take a moment to enjoy looking at the instructions. There is no Ziploc bag today, so we're going to have to, my oh, own pair you of have your own scissors today. So we have our love, we do have, I'm going to say, while cutting a little bit, which is probably not a good idea for me. <laughs> <laughs> because normally, either way, I'm not trusted with scissors. Oh. Okay, so we have a few colors of yarn that would probably, I'm guessing, be um, orange, white, black, and I almost said blue. That is not blue. <laughs> you sure? Uh oh, I'm concerned, people. <laughs> she has forgotten her color. I am an artist who forgot their color. That's and this is scary. my favorite color. All right, what else is in the bag, Mayla? What is that? A needle. It is a Something blunt. Something I would not trust myself with. It's a plastic needle and it has a very blunt, see if you look at it really closely, it has a blunt tip on it. And let me see if and you can see. And then we have? It's really hard to see, but it has a little ball on the end, so it's not very sharp. And what else is in there, Mayla? Um, this. Oh, well we can't see you, oh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what is your plastic this is, frame? This is going to be your frame, which... Mm-hmm. Is this a frame? Oh, jeez. I forgot there was ribbon here. And this is another item we have, but, like, I forgot what it was. What me. is not included in the packaging today, Mayella, that we're going to go ahead and need? I thought everything was in the package. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Scissors. Scissors. Scissors, that's right. So we're going to go ahead and get our pieces out. And Mayella is going to go ahead and get hers. So with your stuff, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to take apart your frame to get our fox matting Wait. out. Mom, okay? I just did that in about a second. Very cool. Yep, get the other piece because it's a two-piece frame and it's separate. Now, um, you can kind of tell the front and the back, but it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to say, um, normally, so if you're looking, though, at really which one's which, mm -hmm. um, the front one, because on some of them, it's going to be like a bit indented. And there's more of a texture on the front where the back yeah. is very smooth feeling. And there's like an indent, yeah. kind of like, if you look closely enough, there's kind of like an indent, and yep. it goes like that shape, kind of. Mm -hmm. The front is the one where, like, the indent actually is. That's right. It should be very textured, and you can really feel the holes. So, so the first color that we're going to use today is, is we're going to use yellow. yellow. In fact, today, because of um, how long this craft does take, we are not going to be able to do the whole craft on air. So we're just going to do some of the finer points, <gasps> and then we'll show you how to close it up <laughs> while... Um, even though it's not complete. So first thing you'll have to do is untie the bundle like I just did. Oh, wait. And then you're going to find the end. So you could or just do oh, this. There it is. There's my end. Or you could just do this. Oh, no, you can't. you got to untie the whole I thing. I know, Mayla. but look what I found already. That was lucky. You did find the end very quickly. And then you go like this. I'm doing this with orange. Which is what is this? Because my yellow, for the most part, is already set up. Okay. Because we had a reason, but All I right. do not remember. So okay, I went so ahead and I oof. set my other pieces aside. That includes the ribbon. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to thread 
the needle. Now this is, can be very tricky and it's kind of hard to see because it's so tiny. I like to twist my yarn a little bit when I'm dealing with yarn and then I fold it in half where it's nice and twisted. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rub it right near the area of the eye of the needle and then I'm going to pull it through. So now I have went ahead and I have put Done my this. yarn on. No okay. magic. Now I'm going to make sure my tail is not crazy short because otherwise every time I do it I will pull my needle out and that is very frustrating. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a knot on the end of our yarn. So with the yarn, I'm gonna loop it and I'm going to go ahead and push the tail through, which is hard to see, I know everybody. This is very hard to do. And then I'm gonna tighten it. And then I'm gonna do it again. In fact, I'm gonna do it three times this time just because the the plastic holes on our our like canvas slash our frame are kind of big and so we want to make sure our knot does not um our knot does not that like a double negative right there Mela um and so it doesn't yarn. pull through so okay um I so now, already have mine yep knotted, mail is already done I didn't knot it again, but I could have if I really wanted to. You think so? Yeah. All right. Are you Do ready you to begin? Me? I am not doubting you. I, I believe you. I believe like you're that you can. Me. All right. So what we're gonna do is I want to. I always like to start on the left side, and when I start, I'm gonna just take my needle and I'm gonna put it through the the um, hole all the way on the left side of my so. canvas. Make sure that the bumpy side is up and the smooth side is down. It just dropped. So I put it in the like left boop. hole. Oh, is that the left hole or the right hole, Mela? The right hole. Because oh. it is the right hole. <laughs> <laughs> you can funny. truly start whichever <laughs> side you want. It doesn't really matter. But I am funny. <laughs> but it is easiest to start in one of the upper corners as you're working. But. Now I was right about the one I picked because right is always right. <laughs> it is, Mela. Now the cool thing on my directions, it's a little different than most of the time, and I'm just going to pull them here mm -hmm. so I can show. The front half, I had went ahead and I did a couple of pictures that might show what I'm doing um, a little yep. closer, so that way it might be easier. But the actual um, project this year, this week, we purchased. And it came with its own set of directions, so you can go ahead and read those on the back, and that them? will have it there. Wait, can I see them? And basically, it gives Ooh, you a rough set, okay. but if you want to improvise or do your own thing, go with it. When I did my original sample, I had a ton of leftover yarn. So if you follow directions how it wrote it, definitely will have plenty of yarn to do it. And if you choose to do it a little differently, that's okay too. So going back to our project, we're gonna go ahead, take our needle. We're gonna make sure that we're shoving it from the back to the front. Once I go ahead, I'm gonna pull it all the way through. I'm going to pull gently, don't pull hard or you'll pull your knot right through. Once I do that, now the spacing becomes up to you. The directions say you can either do three holes or four, you want to do two holes it really is up to you so I'm literally going to start where where my needle comes through and I'm gonna count over one two three holes and that's how much I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna push it the needle towards the back of the canvas and I'm gonna pull it all the way through Wait, is and it I've like, done my first I have stitch. A question. is it the amount of holes apart from it is how you're measuring so would this be either three or four it can be either or, yeah. So right there, you have currently Mayella. I count it from the hole next to where we put the yarn so through. Th so four. this is three holes is what I count that one. Oh, I'm sorry, you four. did four. You're right. Okay, so what do we do next? Then, do, do we? Then we take our needle, which it is, our thread is now through the back. 
We're going to take our needle to the hole next to where we just pushed it down through it. And we're going to go back and push it towards the front mala. Okay? I don't, uh, and I feel then like we're going to come before. through. We have done things very similar. Not, and you're going to pull it. Now, don't pull it too tight, everybody. Like this kind of? Mm hmm. I think so. And then kind of once we've got it up to the front, we're going to go ahead and count. I'm going to use the same spacing, so I'm going to use three holes over. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to put my needle through that third hole, and I'm going to pull it all the way. Now, the yarn might get a little tangled, so you'll need to just untangle it a little bit. And you just keep going. Remember, when you're doing it, not to pull the yarn too um, too hard. Mom? Yes. Looking good, May Ella. I have done four of them. All Woo. right, she is moving right along now. Because this I'm is having easy. A, I noticed I have a one of my holes has the paint covering it. So I'm gonna go Wait. ahead and I have to. I'm gonna stick my needle through the front because I find that when the hole has paint still in it, when you it's easier to try and break that paint seal from the front to the back versus the back to the front. Yeah, because I tried. I want. I was gonna do it. Try and do it back side, mm -hmm. like being the front. Yeah. I poked it, and it was a lot harder. It is. All right. So once I have that, I'm just gonna go again, front or back to front, and oh, now I'm just gonna keep repeating the step as I've been doing. Yeah. So I'm a little ahead currently, which is. Wait, what happens if though you reach the end? That okay, well that's a good question. Can I get a little farther along, Mela, so I, I, I catch yes. up to you? Also, that is a great question. Oh geez, I did it wrong. Oh, that's okay. I did it as if you're sewing. No, oh, like yeah. how I was doing okay. that one llama thing. Re yeah. We have. Reagan, we, we recently found a craft in our house that was like to make like a little stuffed kind of llama thing. We recently found it. Yeah. And I did it and it's it's different from this. It was more of a sewing yeah. uh, project versus a, a needle point. A needle point. So cuz this time I we have to nice. count the holes where the last time we did not. So I can I'm going my first row. I'm still counting 1 2 3, put my needle towards the back. Then I pull all my extra yarn through gently and then I go to the next hole over and I put my needle and I push it from back to Kay. front. So, so um, now you just go like I've got to my last hole. So now so I am there too. Now. I've got my whole first row done now. And so does Mayella. So I'm going along quick. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go down to the next hole right below where we just finished. And we're going to put our needle from back to front, and we're going to pull all the extra And through. then continue from the other side? That's right, and continue from the other side, Mayella. That's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to do this for a couple of minutes, and then it just depends on how you want to progress through. Also, you don't technically need to follow the colors. I don't think so? Um, I found it easiest to kind of follow the color pattern when I yeah, did my sample. Yeah, but if you want to add eyebrows, you can't just use orange and blend right in. Oh, that or you could go ahead and use the black if you have ax or extra once if, yeah, you... Yeah, if you have extra of like the black coloring, mm -hmm. you could probably make eyebrows. You totally could. Which would could. be really cool. Now be careful everyone because as I said, when we did our needle and I threaded my needle, I had a, my tail. So at this point, we've been working for a little bit. So my tail is getting close to where I'm actually doing the stitch. So I need to pull a, some of my extra yarn forward so that way I don't How start do you, doing it. Look like you have so much more yarn than That's me. because I think I cut a bigger piece for myself. So we may need to give me a second piece. And that's fine because there is a way to do it without having to tie a self knot. We can tie the strings together instead, which I'm trying to get to my first color change. So that way we can go ahead and show that piece of the project. So again, I'm just going back and oh. forth. 
Uh-oh, did geez. you pull it off, Mayla? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so tighten the yarn I so the do. threads are nice and tight. Then fold it in half. Can I have some help, please? Yeah, I, we don't start there. Again, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this so I can show on the camera I again. I know, I was going to. All right. So, and it's easier when I put it towards my area. So, Mayla, watch as I'm doing I'm it. I tighten it, I roll the yarn, and then I fold it in half. So, it makes a little bow. And then I take my eye of my needle and I kind of rub it over top of it. And some of the pieces are going to start to come through. And then I'm just going to pull the yarn through. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I know that is one of the things you struggle with yeah. when we do these kinds of projects. I have very big hands. <laughs> All right, so I just finished my second row. Wait, that's okay. We can be in different parts, remember? And I'm just going to go down to the next row. So again, now I'm on the left side, which is where I started. Oh, geez. I'm just going to move down one hole so I can start the third row, push my needle from the back to the front, and I'm going to continue my pattern. Now, some people are uh. going to not want it all to be the same, and you might want to count different amounts on different rows of how many holes you skip. First time I did three, you might want to do four I'm or doing, two. I'm doing four, for, I think I'm going to do four right. as many times as possible. And so either way, however you choose to do it, it is just fine. That's how you personalize this craft and make it and look however you want. The cool thing is the next row, I'm going to do a quick ch color change so that way I can show that piece of it, Mayella. Okay. Because this is only so much fun watching me pull the needle back and forth yeah. as I go. Um, this is a craft I'm going to do at home. It definitely, when we're going to finish. When I'm bored. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of craft I would be doing. Yep. Um, something that can takes a long enough time that I can spend a, 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 a decent amount of time on it. Most definitely, and we missed will. This is like not a times. quick craft. I missed the hole about four times. Oh, dear. All right. So, again, Mayla and I are in different locations because we have different skill levels, and that's okay. So, she's going to keep going. You pull your project down a little so uh -huh. everyone can see your face. I know you're intently working right now. Here's All my right. Face. So I got to the fourth row. Now you can either continue and do all the yellow, which is what I did the first time, or you could do a color change right here. It's really up to you. I did find it easier to do all of one color first and then go back and do my color change but I want you to see it on air how I did it. So yeah, I'm gonna go I'm ahead gonna do how you and did do it here. The first time. So when you're getting over here and you're having your color changes, it's really your interpretation of how to incorporate the new color. Yes, the plastic frame gives you a rough idea, but how you fine tune it, that's up to you. So as I'm gonna color change, I'm gonna use the method of where I just tie the threads together now. So that way I don't have to make knots over and over. So I'm gonna flip my, my Wait, framework I have a or question. my canvas over. I have a over. question for you. Oh yes. If you wanna do it the way you did it the first time, like that so, how mm -hmm. would you go about on this row? I just kept going on the yellow and then I just played on different spacings when I did it. Mm -hmm. So I just, I would, I, when I did it, I did all of the yellow on the top and then I slowly worked my way down the sides when I did it. And so then I did the bottom and then I took my thread and it kind of drug it over to the other side and then I did this area over here, Mayella. So. Okay, so it's kind of like you went like this. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly like that, Mayella. All right, going back to what I was going to show you. So. The next color I'm going to use is I am, there it goes, um, I'm going to use the color orange next because that's my what favorite, color I'm choosing to make color. the fox. Orange is my favorite color. Got to unknot the bundle, which is really nice that they knotted it because they don't become as um, not, uh, twisted and knotted on itself. So you're not having to untangle it. Find an end. Pull some out oh, a, a certain I did it length. Again. Okay. Um, That's okay. One second. Let me finish what I'm doing, or you do yourself. 
Okay. I cut a length off. Okay, got it. I got it. Woo. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to take my orange. Yeah, there's no way I have enough. And no. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my yellow. I'm going to give myself about four inches or so to work. And hold on. Four I, inches. About that. That's your interpretation of, of yellow. Four, no, okay. You have yellow. Yeah. I thought you were talking about how much orange you put, and I was no. about to say that is a lot more than a <laughs> foot, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you are right, that is. I did use more than a foot of orange, dear. <laughs> but I was talking about inches of my yellow. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to do like I would tie my shoes. And I would make a knot that shoes? way. I do tie my shoes. Now the key, which is, I know it's really hard to see with our camera angle, but we're doing our best art we can. I crossed way, it I once. To see and then I'm going to make sure it's as close to the, pl the plastic frame, or I'm sorry, I like to call it canvas, as I can. The, so I'm going to have to canvas, play though, with the knot as I'm doing it. I'm pretty sure canvases are painting, right? Mm, I think it can be used in different. Mm, and then I tied it tight. Nah, I'm sure going to tie that. it one more time. So in, and together, I looped it three times. Okay. So now at this point, I've added my orange right onto my yellow thread. So now I can continue without having to make any more knots upon itself. It's nice and tight. I'm going to trim off some of my extras. I'm going to leave about a centimeter or so. Okay, there. I'm going to, to set aside my scraps. I'm pretty sure I'm about to run out of yellow soon. All right. Wait, what do you do if you have to go down on an angle? Do you just go down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like that. Yep. No one can see that you went on an angle from the other side. So now that I went ahead and I got it, the, the orange tied on, I'm going to take my yellow off my needle. I'm going to set it aside in case I need more. And then I'm going to go ahead and thread my needle by twisting the yarn upon itself, then folding it in half. And then I'm going to go ahead and rub it the needle over it and then I will pull the excess through again. Leaving extra space for my tail, I'm, hanging down so I'm it doesn't fall quick. off every couple of minutes. I am working very okay. quickly. I'm already almost at my yellow. You are. You're doing very good. Yeah, now that I have went ahead and done that, I'm going to go ahead and start my orange. And again, this is interpretation, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You're going to just go ahead and interpret the the, the paint lines however you want. At this point, I didn't always go straight lines. Sometimes I went ahead and on I an did angle. diagonals. Diagonal. And it worked very well for me. So Love I'm going to start by, again, always start my new thread from back to front with my needle. I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to go with the paint color lines okay. I think works well. And then I'm going to continue on with the pattern. Again, I'm skipping a little area here, and I might go ahead later and fill it in a little more. Again, right here, it gets questionable of where I, where I should go, so I'm going to go on the outside of the line a little bit, so it gives me a little more orange. Okay, I think I'm about, I have to be about done here. Yeah, Maybe a right. few more. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue down the ear. I love how quick we're going with this. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah. Like, in my opinion, it's a little impressive of how quick we're currently okay. going. You know, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of diagonal single. This part, it gets, is the ears, when you're starting to do the ears, you really can just interpret it any way you want of how the paint looks to you on the frame. Okay, and okay. I think we're Just out. go ahead and do it anyway. Now, I did go back and cross other areas, and I did kind of go up and down a little bit, so that way 
Um, as I worked, it kind of filled in that area better. Kind of going diagonal right now. Okay, I think we are done. With, with that part? No, with my string. Oh, Take all right. I gave now, you do you good need more yellow, ma'am? Yes. All right, get your yellow bundle out. Yellow. And I'm going to go there. <gasps> mustache. Okay. Find the end. Mustache. Because I'm just sitting here trying to zigzag this ear and call it. Mustache. Color. <laughs> <laughs> you knew I would do it. I did. You give, do life it. gives males yarn. They're going to make a mustache. Right. I know. So, yeah, there you go. All right. Did you find the end? Mom. Perfect. Do a length Under. out. Okay, cut it at the end wherever you decide you want that end of the length. That was a good cut. All right. <gasps> we. Okay, should we swing scissors around? Let's no. think of scissor safety at this point. This is, there's a, is there actually like an online lesson? Well, I don't know. Maybe we need to after we just witnessed that uh, action, okay? After this, so when, I get, maybe, when I get home, yeah? I am going on my laptop and I'm searching up scissor safety online lessons I think and it see would be what good pops up. Yes. All right. So we're going to go ahead, Mayella. We're going to take your needle out because we're back me. to it. Here's your extra length. So we're going to go like we're tying a shoe. Oh, don't. Yeah, you can thread it first if that's what you want. That's fine. And Am I allowed to go to the end just well, for yeah, the fun of it? <laughs> Threading is right. fun. Okay. Now you're going to tie like you're going to tie a shoe. You're going to have to be careful because one end is not attached. You're going to make an X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Try again. Would you like some assistance? Yes. Okay. I just Please move your hand so the, I can see. That's the only bit I'm going to need help with. Oh, okay. No, you've been doing very independently on this craft. So I'm going to go ahead. It's hard because one of these pieces is not attached. And so like this time I'm going to hold my finger down on it so that way it holds it down. All right. We're going to do a couple more stitches, May Ella, and then we're going to go ahead and show them how to finish it off, okay? I know. I was having fun. Well, you can finish it at home yeah. later. All right. So, I'm, as I said, I'm just kind of zigzagging my ear around, trying to cover all of the holes, oh. making sure I what I was doing. it all the orange is covered as well as I can, making it what I would hope to be as Frame. a decent ear. Anyone else going to use these needles? I would say when I time I finished my first craft, um, the needle was tired. So I'm guessing slightly we'll, bent. So I'm guessing these needles are not going to be used again. Uh, I would think that they probably will not be. Okay, good to know because I may or may not have every once in a while just been going like to pull it through. Mm-hmm. Which, and what do we do if we reach this? Where our thing is, um, our little string is on the other side, but where we need to get to is like here-ish. Okay, hold it down because people can't see. Oh, now say it again. Okay, so what if we, what would happen if we had to get it, if it goes from here to like a here-ish area? Because I think I'm gonna have it like here. If you do, then you're gonna go ahead and just this is go when, for yep, it. you're going to just go ahead and, and have that stretch. When I did my original one, you'll see that there is lines in the back of my work where I was trying to um, oh, use as little amounts of. Yeah, and I was trying and to stretch. stretch the yarn just because I didn't want to have to tie and untie. It would have made it more tricky. Wait. So it was just easier to kind of like jump from one area to another. I'm actually going to switch my spot. Okay. That was a good question, Mayella. Oh, All okay, right, I'm almost, uh, almost to a point where I think 
it, it's about time to just finish it off, Mayella. Fun. I agree, and we'll have to finish it later. This is a fun thing that you do when you're bored. Oh, when you have some downtime. Downtime, you're bored, anything like that. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to need one of these, like a, like a really big one, like yeah. from here to here. And oh. then every time I'm bored, I work on it. Oh, that would be exciting. And then hopefully by the end of summer, it'll be finished. That would be good. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to show you how you would put it in the picture frame. Wait, are you just going to do that and I can continue? Yep, that's fine. Yay. Because Not this is a problem. Fun. It is fun. It's fun but time consuming. Yep. All right, so once we finish, and we're going to have to pretend everybody now because, as they say, this, this project will take... It took me several hours to do it the first time. So but that's your um, first time. So your first true. time is always going to be the long, take the longest. True. Your second time is going to take less, mm -hmm. hopefully. But it's still going to take you some time. So when you finish off, you'll end up instead of since you're no longer needing to uh, have any more thread added, you're going to go ahead and make that knot like we did before. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a loop. Oh, oopsies. I can just, there we go. I'm like, I'm having a whole hard time making sure I'm, I'm in the camera cut shot. <sighs> so we're gonna go ahead and make a loop and I'm going to pull it through, making sure it stays tight on my back canvas. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm probably gonna do it three times just so that way it does not pull in. I'm sorry if my fingers are kind of in the way. Got it. Oh no. Right. Oh no. I will trim the My excess. My arm's falling apart. Off. Oh, at the end, no, it sometimes happens. It, it's fine. Like it. All right. So once I got all my thread off, I'm gonna go ahead and take my picture frame. If you look at this picture frame. We're gonna start with the back piece first. I know this is back because it has the little hook piece on it. So I'm going to go ahead and also, I'm going to tell it's the it. back piece because the front piece is like more outward. Mm -hmm. The back piece, yep, flat. All right. So I'm going to oh, which is push. there a specific way you have to get it on like this way or well, what, why don't you watch me and you can see as we do it. So I want to make sure that my triangle piece that's going to be my hook is at the top and that my fox is sitting the correct direction in it. Then I'm going to take my front piece of my frame, which is the thicker piece, and I'm. it doesn't seem to matter which way you do it. I'm going to flip it over now that I have it placed on it, and then I'm going to, oh, it does matter, and it's funny. I didn't notice it when I did it. I picked the right direction when Whoa. I did it at, Wait. at when I did it the first time. So there is, you have different amount of whole notches along the, the frame. So it does matter which way it goes, Mayella. Amen. So that is definitely a good question. So the top, if you look at the frame very carefully, it has um, two notches on the top and it has three notches on the side. So you need to make sure you line those up. And then once you do, oh, I was doing it right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and it just pops in. Okay. Good job. Now it we took me a it. second to get it to fit in correctly. Good job. But we it, did it does go in once you fiddle with it for a little bit. All right. So it snaps right on. Again, this is not totally finished. So um, ah. you'll have to use your imagination that it's done. Woo, then we're going to take finished. our ribbon when we're I'm done. Sure. And I'm going to thread it through the hanger. I'm going to pull it through. <sighs> I'm going to make it so it's the same length. And then I am going to go ahead and do a twist knot right here because I find they're easier to do for little hands. And I'm just going to go ahead they and pull are. it. And at this point, you can either leave your knot up top or your hanger up top, or you can go ahead and you can 
move it so it's in the bottom. And so it's only a little bit of loop. So we have our loop. Oh, and that it. will be our craft for the week. And I hope everyone joy enjoys it. We will go ahead and be putting those crafts out on Friday at 8.30. You can start picking them up. They're available until all 30 kits are gone um, in our office hours at the Richmond Recreation Office on Fridays. Did I say Thursday? I don't know. I, I was, I I was Thursday, trying to listen, but at the same time, I'm enjoying the craft. Okay, yeah. which I get. If this I said Thursday, one. I meant Friday. These will be out on Friday for you okay, to pick up, starting at 8.30, and the building closes at 4.30. Last week's craft went, I think they were all picked up around noontime. So come early so you get your craft, and I hope you enjoy yourself as you do it. Be creative if you want to embellish it or try and stitch it slightly different. Feel free. Wait, what Let your imagination be your mean? limit. Let's embellish yeah. it means to like um like uh go ahead and do the stitching differently to to um oh i am i normally think of embellishment when like you're wearing sequins by adding more sequins on things yeah no things i thought like it was that, like so. the process of like the gem that one gem thing we sometimes have, like those. that's but, what i thought of mm -hmm. so you can go ahead and pick up those crafts then <laughs> and next week Next week Do we're we have doing the famous bird catcher. No, we not are not doing catcher. our bird. You mean bird feeder? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, we're gonna make a bird catching no. net. Woo! No, we are not catching birds. Aww. With our bird feeders. Aww. Because we're not doing bird feeders next week. Aww. What we are doing is we are gonna make a sun catcher next week with mason jar lids and coloring sheets. It's Kind of fun. Okay, because I know we made like a something like a sun catcher. We've made many sun catchers, but this is one like you've never made before. At least we haven't done before on the show. As you know, over the years we try and reinvent new crafts every year. Yeah, but we, we may have are. A... But we have a theme of doing normally one bird catcher. <laughs> Catcher Peter. <laughs> it's yeah. Peter. Yeah, we're we're just gonna give you a bunch of these guys no, and be like. No. You just put it in your yard with a little bird seed, that is wait for a bird, and then just go poop. I hope my imagination is better than that. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you're right. We do have certain craft themes that we do follow with doing a bird feeder. We typically have some sort of picture frame at some point. Which I think, was this the picture frame? No, this is not a picture no, frame. No, because technically you can remove this. And then put a picture in here. Always thinking outside the box, Mail Always. I'm a, I'm a creative mind. You I are. help. I'm a, I'm not in. I am an artist, but also I have a. I have a bunch of friends who are really good at art, mm -hmm. and I'm really good at com coming up with design topics. There you go. But next week's Sun Catcher will be something different than we have done in the past. So I hope you tune in. I hope you come out, grab a craft, enjoy yourself. And from Jocelyn. And Mayella. Have a good week, everybody. Bye. Bye.